Hello and welcome to this episode of WN Stuff. I'm your host, WN. This is my variety channel. Hope that you're having a wonderful day. Uh, so today we are reacting to the Ink Tank. Uh, I will be reacting to the second two episodes of the five years later that they posted. I reacted to the first one. If you want to go check that out, chapters two and three to the motion comic coming soon. But today we're going to be reacting to giving Andromeda Aliens Ultimate Forms. Ben 10 is going to be hosted by none other than the spectacular O.R. Ash. Before we get into it, though, I am an artist as well in a slightly different sense. If you enjoyed that, please go and listen. I would greatly appreciate it. I, I really want to post more music. And now, without further ado, let's get into this review. Reaction. Make sure that's all the way back. All right. Three, two, one. The Drawing Matrix. Good evening, Internet World and Good Universe. Evening. This is O.R. Ash, and welcome back to The Drawing Matrix. We are back once again to continue our Ultimates Overhauled series. Last time, we powered up the Alien Force add-ons along with some Legacy Boys, so today legacy we are going to be continuing down the road and find ourselves at the titular Ultimate Alien <sighs> These are some of my favorites. Starting off, of course, with the highly requested Andromeda 5, hence why I'm currently dressed as Ash Gregor. <laughs> it's spooky season and I wanted to dress up, okay? Just It's nice. Have this. It Today, looks good. You got it. It's all you. Spin, water hazard, armadillo, amphibian, and energy. Oh okay. boy, this is a tall order of an episode. So let's get cooking. Let's do it. Don't worry, guys. I'm fine. You got to keep your eye locked Terra on a Spin particular a thing if you don't want to get Jewish dizzy. Loan ...that chooses flight over fight. Aside from being able to withdraw into his defensive shell, his only other notable ability is spinning his limbs around like big fan blades to generate wind currents. Do his legs meld together? Now, this can be pretty useful hey. in combat for keeping enemies at a distance, but imagining him going through the UES and faced with pure combat mm -hmm. all the time, he definitely needs a bit more of an offensive ability. Now, right. I don't want to give him something that makes things too easy or is like way overkill like missiles or explosions. Okay. So instead, I'm Funny going to be increasing his offense while doubling down on his defense. For my take on his ultimate, I'm going to be adding to his defense shell specifically. He now has this large two-layered extension to his shell that can separate from his main body Ooh. and hover off the ground thanks to his airflow control. These extensions keep enemies further a distance from his main body. One of those body, first sketches while also gave providing me. some bumper car Whoa. style ring toss action. Being able to fling these rings out independently to bump attack enemies. Oh, that's also, awesome. for a fun bit of a change up, he can now pull air in through the vents on the top of his shell, making it to where he can spin his shell rings in the opposite direction of himself, making for one gigantic big spinning attack. Okay. Essentially, he's just a big old Beyblade. I now. was gonna say Beyblade, but you know, I didn't want to jump the gun. You know, I didn't want to jump the gun. also defensive horn spikes. So, to recap, as far as his new abilities, mm -hmm. he now has layered shell extensions that okay. can independently propel via air currents, and now has some defensive horn spikes. As mm. far as his trade-offs, because of his new oblong it's shell looking setup, mean. he is now stuck quadrupedal when standing. Other than that, may I present my take on an ultimate You mean there's actually legs? I dub Roundabout. Ultimate That's cool. I like Honest. that. A nice cold starting off strong starting off strong next up we have the barnacle boy with the literal drip water hazard decked out in impenetrable armor and equipped with hydrokinesis mm -hmm. this shell head is pretty balanced fighter already but since i have to make ultimates for him anyway let's test the waters a little bit test with the his waters. abilities for my ultimate water hazard i wanted to make him much more hopefully crabby. all the drawing and I'm everything gonna be covering his smooth sailing you know fur and basing him off of a yeti crab I'm not giving him claws though that's 
It's too crabby. This too water crabby. hazard can now soak his fur in water and then either boil it, creating steam and scalding physical attacks, mm -hmm. or freezing it, creating solid spiky ice armor for mm. jabbing and bashing attacks. He can still shoot blasts of the various temperatured water. I just thought adding it as more of a detail for the armor itself would have been really interesting. Plus, the barnacles that he had on his shoulders in Omniverse have now become shoulder-mounted barnacle cannons that can blast water as well. We love that. These shoulder cannons, along with his crabby dreads, more helmet-styled head, and additional patterning are meant to be a little visual nod to the Yautja from Predator. Mm. To recap, as far as his new abilities, he now has thick fur that he thick can fur. either freeze or boil for various attacks cool. and armor. His shoulder barnacles can now blast water as well. Mm -hmm. He can now also separate his body into three in independent acting Whoa. crab structures. You know, like for evading, I guess. I don't know. I His nipple eyes now have purpose. As far okay. as his trade-offs, he simply Fair enough, loses OR. his retractable visor. Other than that, may I present my take on an ultimate water hazard that I dub Blaster Cast. Blaster Cast. Ultimate Water Whoa. Hazard. The addition of the color on that design really added a lot to Next it from up, the sketches. Next up, we have the one-man wrecking crew Armadrillo. Now, we all know I'm not a big fan of mechanical aliens, but mm -hmm. despite looking like he's a part of the DeWalt family of power tools, I just love Armadrillo for some reason. Like, right. I don't know why. You're he allowed to like of, what you want to like. the most mechanical looking alien. It's just a big robot guy. Mm -hmm. Seeing as you can't see any organic bits on him at all, for my ultimate, I decided to lean fully into the mechanical angle. Okay. This dude gonna be put in the power in power tools. His elbow pistons are now outfitted with the same array of tool options as his hands, giving him front to back dual digging and shaking. But to shake things up a bit more, he can also rotate his arms a full 360 degrees for maximum tunnel coverage. We like that. And he can now split and fold his arms at the engine block, making for some double decker drill punching. So now we're going to be going full mech tech because he can also convert his body into Jeez. one massive drill. To help having to deal we with really this leaned into drill. Worm, I wanted to make him able to traverse quicker underground. And his tail acting as the head of a massive drill body to quickly dig seemed like a pretty fun workaround. Mm -hmm. This ability is inspired directly by Simone's first mech from Gurren Lagann. Also, I mm. took some visual inspiration from like the face chest design. The face chest thing actually spawned a whole separate Ultimate Armadrillo concept that I ended up cutting for time. It's locked. So join our Patreon if you want to see that, I guess. Oh, As a final that's just good content like creator stuff I'd right like there. I'd like to give Armadrillo something I feel like he should have had in the first place. And that's echolocation. This man is bringing those good vibrations. I feel like he should have already been able to do this. But I'm adding this with his ultimate specifically okay. because with the new overall armor size increase that I gave him, he has a very... <laughs> limited field of view. Mm. Is it that your body is too massive for your teeny tiny head, or is it that your head is too teeny tiny for your big fat body? So, to you recap, know, as far as his uh, people have talked about my big fat head a lot, I get it. Specialty caps. Tools that can fold up for Highly relatable. Down, and his body can convert into a massive drill. He also now has echolocation. As far as his trade offs, <laughs> he now has, he now has an extremely limited field of vision. Other than that, may I present my take on an ultimate armadrillo that I dub. Excavator, spelled XKV number eight R. <laughs> Some somebody's license plate. I really like that design. Now, I hope you're enjoying this episode of The Drawing Matrix. If you'd like more episodes like this, including our Ultimates Overhaul As a matter series, of fact, I would. check out our newly released web series, Five Years Later. Oh, the yeah. first three episodes are up on the main channel now, and all of our projects go hand in hand. Meaning, supporting 5YL mm -hmm. supports future episodes of The Drawing Matrix as well. Will so do. So check it out, and let us know what you think. If I needed now, more of a reason to, to react the to the other two, yes. thank you for giving it to me. Business. Up next, we have the squishiest of Ben's electric aliens, Amphibian. Now, Amphibian, Amphibian has always felt a bit of an odd one out of the bunch for me. All mm. of the rest of the Andromeda boys have some kind of armor element to them, either naturally or, you know, prison. But I will say, it does feel like his main body is still supposed to look like a suit of some kind, mm -hmm. maybe something akin to like a poncho. For my okay. ultimate Amphibian, I drew inspiration from a few very different sources. Oh, Number I can't one, wait to hear it. Eric Conte's Big Chill concept art. I like the look of this cloak, so I took inspiration from it. Number two, one of my core music memories in life comes from the Voltaire song Brains from Billy and Mandy, in which a big old gelatinous meteor monster pulls Ooh. out people 
people's brains and eats them. Well, that is taking me back. Whoa. I came up with a new ability that I, I forgot about Bubble that brain. until right now. Essentially, Ultimate Amphibian's body produces an electrically charged gel that can shock and paralyze upon contact. Mm. He can also use this gel to pull people's minds out of their bodies and stow it away in a gel bubble that he creates. Okay. Think like Albedo's plot with Azmuth's brain in Omniverse. It's the same concept, but no tech needed. I took visual inspiration from one's the unique. nervous system, the brainstem, and the Manowar jellyfish. Ironically, being brainless, Manowars are made up of mindless zoids that feed it and help it reproduce, which this inspires mm. the Ultimate's other ability, muscular puppeting. Once the brain has been bubbled, the leftover body can be controlled via wow. phased-in tendril, electrifying synapses in the oh, brain. Oh, they're so, doing a little recap, spooky dance. He can produce they're doing a little spooky charged dance. Paralytic gel. With this gel, he can pull people's minds out of their bodies, and he can puppet around said bodies. As far as his trade-offs, very simply, I'm taking away his projectile attacks. A if couple of these sketches gave me a, a little bit of uh, uh, Brainiac from DC vibes as them. well. Other than that, may I present my take on an ultimate amphibian that I dub Voltaire. Voltaire. Ultimate amphibian. Nice. You hungry? How Man, so far, all the designs are like neck and neck. Last up on the plate today, we have the radioactive man in a tin can, NRG. Now, NRG was a tough egg to crack, mainly because his shell is made out of metal. Mm -hmm. For my ultimate NRG, I imagine that he gets stuck in his suit for his duration of time in the UES. Because of this, he can't use his abilities like flight, intangibility, or his max power output. Mm -hmm. He ends up having to adapt to his slow, clunky containment suit. Now, seeing as how much of a literal hothead Pandor was, this ultimate probably did didn't want to accept that and would spend his time trying to somehow burn his way out of his suit. Over time, having All NRG right. burning hotter and hotter trying to get out, even Whoa. with a decent half-life decay of his radiation, the atomic structure of what the metal a crazy would animation. wear out long before he would. It being broken down and superheated for a super long time, I imagine his suit would steadily melt and conform to his body, melding into his flesh. Mm. With this new metallic layer to his body, he can superheat his skin, stretching and bending it into a variety of shapes. Because his suit conformed to his sleeker shape, he can move around more quickly while still having the metallic defense and locking in his like radiation, sacrificing his flight and intangibility to gain better radiation control and defense, while also getting the bonus weapon shifting to boot. Mm. Also, just a fun little detail I wanted to bring attention to, I turned the three vents of his suit into a pattern resembling teeth of a skull. From this port, he can still fire his his limited rad blasts. Mm -hmm. Anyway, to recap, as far as his new abilities, he now has a more sleek moving body sleek. with metallic defenses and rad cap intact, and he oh, can I'm so interested to see like where this to make superheated weapons. is going to end up. As far as his trade-offs, he loses his flight and intangibility for a much more solid Like there's a lot going on form. in the sketches. Other than that, may I present my take on an ultimate energy that I dub New Cleaver. New Cleaver. <laughs> Whoa, Ultimate whoa, energy. that is not what I was expecting. And that is it. The Andromeda Boys finally Andromeda have boys. ultimate forms. But what I'd like to know is what peeps think of these boys. Especially since I didn't take a single leg this episode. And, and I'm, I'm hungry. hungry. I did notice. If you want to help support us, consider joining our Patreon. It's just $1 a month, and you can get a bunch of exclusive sneak peeks and behind-the-scenes content on all sneak of our peek. project productions. Also, check out our other links down below, like our Twitch, where you can hang with us while we work, and my socials, where I'll be posting the Albedo edits of these I never boys. Really got Time into Twitch. Today. I think As I always, probably should. I'm OR Ash and I'm surviving. Will you? Peace. Spooky. All right. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that episode. Um of the designs, I would have to say that my favorite was probably it was almost gonna be Terra Spin, but I think I'm gonna go with Armadrillo. But what was your favorite ultimate design? I loved this. If you like that or this, any of this, leave a like. If you dislike that, um, I disagree with you. But if you dislike this or me, that's cool. That's cool. Go ahead and do your thing. Dislike. Just glad, glad you stopped by. Hope you're having a wonderful spooky season. And uh, until next time, what do I normally say? 
Have a good one. Take it easy. Boo. <laughs> uh, later, guys. Dun, 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 dun. That's all. Read and weep of a story like mine. Read and weep of a story like mine.